Episode 3. Sook Day's boss who was called Gil Su was mad because of the incident. He didn't like if Sook Day took another job. He punished Sook Day by hitting his hand with a block of wood. After that, Sook Day met Yun Ben to ask him to bring Si Yun to him. Si Yun encountered a member of Sook Day's gang called Yang Yi who was stealing something at supermarket. Si Yun ignored her and pretended like he didn't see that. When he was about to leave after purchasing an umbrella, Yang Yi was being friendly to him. She asked, <laughs> She asked Si Yun to go to a restaurant with her. Si Yun couldn't do anything but to accept her offer. Young Yi confessed to Si Yun that she began to have a crush on him. She also asked for Si Yun's phone numbers. Gil Su was collecting payments of debts from a high school student who owed him some money. That student gave his mother's car as a loan guarantee because he was unable to pay off his debts. Even though he had given Gil Su a car as a loan guarantee, Gil Su still threatened him to kill him and his parents if he didn't pay off his debts in three days. The next day, when Young Bin packed his things in the classroom, he asked Si Yun to have a conversation with him. Turned out, Young Bin wanted Si Yun to be a court witness to testify that he didn't own any fentanyl because he didn't want to be put in a youth detention center. He told him that he was the only hope for his parents. Si Yun felt bad for him, so he agreed to do what he wanted. Si Yun were heading to the court with his friends, but Young Bin took them to a car park of a building instead. Si Yun and his friends suspected him because they didn't go to the court. Apparently, Young Bin had lied and tricked them to meet Gil Su and his gang. <laughs> Gil Su asked them to pay him $15,000 because he didn't have health insurance to cover for Sook Day's broken hand. But Su didn't remember that he injured Sook Day's hand severely. Gil Su was the one who broke Sook Day's hand and then blamed Su Hu for it. He did it so he could get some money from him and his friends. Gil Su told them to pay him in three days. If they couldn't do it, they had to lend money from him to pay him. We could see how sly and manipulative Gil Su was. He even threatened to kill them if they refused to do what he told them. After that unwanted meeting, Si Yun and his friends were followed and watched by Gil Su and his gang every day. Sian called Young Yi to ask for an explanation about the problem he was facing. He hoped that Young Yi could give him an important information. They finally agreed to meet at a restaurant. Young Yi told Sian about who Gil Su was. Apparently, Gil Su was a type of a person who would do anything for money, including murder. Young Yi told Sian to pay Gil Su if he didn't want to be in any danger. She also told him that Gil Su were friends with many gangsters, so it would be hard to run away from him. Bum Sook was stealing his father's watch so he could sell it and have some money to pay Gil Su. Finally, three days had passed since Gil Su threatened Si Yun and his friends. They had a meeting in a room. Bum Sook managed to collect $15,000 from selling his father's watch, but he told them that he got the money from his father. Si Yun and Su Hu were mad at him because they didn't believe that Bum Sook's father was willing to give him that much money. Even though they had had the money, they refused to give that money to Gil Su for free. They decided to call the police instead. Si Yun told them about the important information he got from Young Yi last night. Apparently, Gil Su had an illegal gambling site for minors, especially for high school students. People would receive $50 for free for each account they registered on Gil Su's gambling site, which was being operated overseas. Young Yi said that the gambling site was a fraud. 
The players would win and receive many bonuses for several first games, but after they got addicted to it, the site owner would use their addiction to take their money and defeat them in every game, where there were gambling sites players. There were bounds to be Gilsu's gang. When those players ran out of money, Gilsu's gang would approach them to lend them money so they could keep playing on the gambling site. As the consequence, the players would owe them money and couldn't pay their debts off because they had lost all of their money on the gambling site. It was one of Gilsu's evil strategy to exploit children to get addicted to gambling, so, they could lend money from him and gave him their valuables as long guarantees, such as cars, gold bars, etc. Youngi also told CN that Gilsu put his valuables such as transactions, drugs, etc. in a strongbox. Because of that, CN wanted to call police and bring them to that place. With all evidences inside of that strongbox, Gilsu would get arrested by the policemen. After school, Gilsu and his gang had been waiting for CN and his friends. Su said that he would meet Gilsu by himself. He planned to ask Gilsu to take him to his office to talk about Gilsu's gambling site. When he arrived there, he would tell Siyun about his location so Siyun could call and bring the policeman there. At first, Gilsu was surprised that Su knew about his gambling site. Su said that Suk Day's cousin, Young Bin, told him about it. Gilsu finally took Su Hu to his office with him because he had no option. Before they left, Young Yi told Gilsu that she would stay at school to wait for Bum Suk and Siyun. After that, Young Yi met Siyun to give him the address of Gilsu's office. Siyun didn't realize it sooner that Su Hu didn't have to go with Gilsu to get Gilsu's address. Bum Suk was worrying about Su Hu. He wanted to follow him with a taxi. Siyun let him go because he wanted to see if Young Yi gave him the right address. Suk Day interrogated Young Yi for knowing Siyun and revealing such an important information to him. Young Yi told him that she was sick of Gilsu. She planned to call the police on him. She said that she couldn't live under Gilsu's pressure forever. Suhu arrived at Gilsu's office. He gave Gilsu's address to Siyun immediately. It was the same address as the one that was given by Young Yi. Su walked inside of the office. Since Gil Su always kept his guard up, he asked Su Hu to give him his phone. He had been suspecting that Su Hu had planned something. Su Hu refused to give his phone. His head was hit very hard with an iron stick that he fell from his chair. <laughs> Gil Su finally found out about Su's plan to call the police on him. <laughs> After he found out about it, he packed his things and left that place immediately. To be continued.